What is going on, guys? Today, I'll be coming with a, basically, an OT deck obelisk. And sorry, an OTK deck ob... An o- I'm sorry. An OTK obelisk deck. So, the main objective is this deck, of course, bring out obelisk. And... The reason why Obelisk is your main priority is because this guy's normal summon cannot be negated. So, you summon him, someone tries Solemn Judgment, I mean, sorry, Solemn Warning, that's going to happen. Trap Hole, nope. Bottomless, nope. Also, one normal summon card's and effects cannot be activated. It cannot be targeted by spells, traps, or card effects, which is freaking awesome. It's awesome. Um, but you do not want to special summon him because at the end turn he's going to die. He's going to be sent to the graveyard. So you basically want to tribute summon. And I'll be explaining that in this deck how. So obviously, three obelisks, the Tormentor, badass of the deck. Two Malefic Cyber and Dragons for defense because we will be running a field spell and um, the only way to use Malef- Malefic cards, as you know, is if you have currently have a field card on the field. One Exodus, the ultimate Forbidden Lord. Very good one. He's awesome. Um, two Winged Dragon of Raw. Um, I've been thinking about using Slifer, but uh, you're, it's entirely up to you. You can use Slifer, you can use Wind Dragon of Raw, whichever one you prefer. But, um,. Hey, you can even use another eight star, and the reason why I'll be exp- why you need eight stars is um is because of this guy three hardened armed dragons. You can special summon this card from your hand by sending one level eight or high monster from your hand to the graveyard. If you tribute this card that way, the monster that you summon by tributing hardened armed dragon cannot be shared by card effects. So you see, obvious cannot be targeted. By card effects. So if somebody were to use Dark Coal, he could be dead. But if you have Hardened Arm Dragon and you use Hardened Arm as a tribute for Obelisk, he cannot be destroyed by anything. Only by battle, which is impossible. Literally impossible. It's, come on, who's going to go over freaking 4,000? Nobody. Three Hardened Arm Dragons. Two Nova Summoners. They, uh... Basically, they special summon each other. They special su- so three Nova Summoners. They're gonna special summon um, Ra's Disciple, and when it's normal summon or special summon, it automatically special summons up to two Ra's Disciples from your hand or deck. So that's to your Obelisk or whatever. Boom. So those are the monster cards. Here are the spell cards. This is very important. Double summon. So say first turn you have one obelisk, one raw, and the rest is whatever. You normal summon raw first, activate his effect, summon two other ones, activate double summon, and then tribute summon obelisk, the sword mentor. Bam, right there. So three double summons, one soul charge, just in case one of your raws die. Um I highly suggest you do not use Soul Charge on the Egyptian Gods because they will be destroyed if you special summon them. So remember that. Three Stray Lands for defense. One Soul Exchange for that uh, extra tribute. Two Swords of Revealing Light for defense. Three Magical Mallets to shuffle cards. One charging emperor. This one's very good. Tribute to summon monsters cannot you control cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So it's like hard and arm dragon, but in a spell card. But the thing is, you cannot special summon from your extra deck. But you don't really want to summon it from your extra deck. Because you have the obelisk. And this this is the bad boy, the deck right here. Mound of the Bound Creator. Level 10 or higher monsters on the field cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Once again. If you have this card and Oblix on the field, they want to use Dark Cold and Force. boom, cannot work. 
and say you attack their monster with obelisk, say that they have like a thousand two hundred. You take that battle damage different from obelisk in the thousand two hundred, and they receive another thousand because of this card right here. Also, if they were to MST this card, it automatically searches for a divine beast obelisk. Bam. One more force for, for defense, and the first monarch. This card, you special summon it, you put in defense, and then you can activate the effect. You discard one card, declare one attribute. This card becomes that attribute, and it can be treated as two tributes for that attribute summon of a monster with the same attribute. So you, um, when they're about to attack, I guess, or when you're about to summon obelisk, activate this card, Divine Beast. Uh, you have to discard one card. It's the pay for the effect. Make it Divine Beast, and tribute summon. Bam. So that's our main deck. On to the extra. Two Cyber Ends to summon uh, your Malefics. Three, sorry, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Cus Gustavo Max. Two level 10 monsters. Once returned, you can detach one extra Z material from this card and inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. So you attack with this card. Bam, they take the battle difference, and they lose a 1,000 if you have Mount of the Unbound Creator. And then Detach, bam. It's like three hits in one. Star Seraph Sentry. That's a number 102. One Utopia, number 39. One Constellar Precip. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. One Constellar Omega. How hard is it to press a card? One Heartland Draco. One Gaga Cowboy. Awesome effect. You special summon in defense mode. Detach one XYZ material. Everybody loses a. Uh, they inflict 800 damage to your opponent. Awesome. And one Starledge Paddling. Paladynamo. Sorry. So that's my Egyptian, well, my OTK Abba stuck. Um, let me know what you guys think, and um, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. I'll see you guys later.